Hey folks, how we doing? Just want to show you. First, I finished the titanium. I'm gonna put it on the gear bastion tonight. This one is gonna be again more money. Titanium, <laughs> pain in the arse to work with, and it will come again with two sheets. It will come with the ni this uh, nice black. It is a belt carry, but it will work perfect even for the pocket carry and the regular kydex. Now this one is pretty sweet. It has a very, very pretty satin finish on the blade. Like really nice. You can see that like perfect. That really cool handle. Heat anodized. Actually what I did was I heat anodized the tank. It was tricky one. <laughs> To holding the blade in the cold water so this doesn't get the warm up or even hot holding it with the fingers making sure that it's you know it's still cool and <laughs> with the torch flaming this part of the thing it was kind of funny but it worked out you know just to change the color a little bit so it goes kind of like blue gold blue but then it goes to the nice really shiny very pretty and this one is sharp just like all of them uh, what is it not gonna work now? This way. I wanted to impress you that way, but that's tricky. It can push cut new sprint like nothing. I wonder how it is because sometimes this works and it's pretty impressive. You can push uh, push cut new sprint this way. It looks impressive. It's a tricky one. Yep, if you're holding it just by. That's a, that's a tricky one. Try it. But this push cuts even, you know, almost 90 degrees. Um, <laughs> it is sharp. Shaves hair without actually touching the skin. So really, really nice combo. Like I said, this one will be more money. Uh, uh, with the titanium and with the shit, it's not gonna be cheap knife. But it is very, very pretty nice feel in the hand and this is the kydex sheet nice strong retention easy to remove and the leather fits you know either way nice and snug fit again and it will even form it will form even more over the time as the leather kind of forms to the knife yep like that that's the top so that's pretty cool setup. And here was a funny project. Sebastian, brother Sebastian, kind of dared me if I could come up with with different shit design for this awesome uh, Persian from brother Marshall, because it is a very very tricky design. And Marshall has a great shit. You know, it works perfect. It works just the way the shit's supposed to. It's a good retention. It's a little loose, but it has to be because again, crazy, very very intricate shape, very very complicated shape, and. Uh, I said, yeah, why not? I, I want to see what I can do with this. And this is this is my my take on uh, Marshall's shit. It took quite a lot of effort and work to figure out. You know, I had to really study what are all the con po uh, points of contact where you know where the shit is lacking. You know, so it's lacking here. It's lacking on the big index finger guard. It's lacking on the handle. So a lot of things to consider. But the end result, I think it looks beautiful. This is such a beautiful knife. I'm always, in, every time I say it, I'm impressed with Marshall's work. Just beautiful, beautiful work. Very intriguing, you know, heavy, thick stack coming to really fine taper, beautiful grind. Very, very pretty knife. One of the prettiest knives I've seen. And uh, I'm just happy that I could compl uh, complement that beautiful work with uh, with a pretty decent shit. And uh, I don't know, I'm curious what... What will Sebastian say if if he's gonna like the original one better? I mean, there's nothing wrong with this. Uh, it depends. He carries a knife l differently. He carries it inside the waistband, so this actually might be still better for that type of carry than this. Who knows? Because this might get stuck in the waistband. I don't know. I never carry a knife like that, so it comes up to it will be up to him. But came out pretty sweet. So Marshall, brother, I hope you <laughs> hope you're not offended. It to making the shit for your knife, for your beautiful, beautiful, beautiful knife. I try to do my best to complement your work. And uh, we'll see what Sebastian says. Like I said guys, this one is going to the Gear Bastion right now. Pretty sweet one. Kinda wish it wouldn't sell because I really like this one. But I do have already one uh, EDC for myself. 
So we'll see. Thanks for watching guys, take care, stay safe and remember, don't cut yourself. Oh, by the way, <laughs> I actually set up Gavko Knives website, so if you're interested, you know, it's nothing, it's just the front, you know, it's a front one page. I put my links there like it always did, all the links to all the suppliers what I use for my knife making, it's all, it's still there. I don't get no kickbacks for it, it just, it's kind of my thank you for them providing the service they do. So I, the people I use, I share with people that, you know, are interested in my knives. And then there is a link to the gear bastion, link to my shop directly. And you'll see I might even uh, link some other knife makers, some friends that I, I might even collaborate with in the future and stuff like that, we'll see. But it is just a front, I'm not even interested in doing anything else because this way it's included in the domain. I don't have to deal with anything, I don't have to service anything. There are links to the store, online stores, Gear Bastion, and there are links to the photo gallery in Picasa. So there's no hosting fees, nothing. It's really quick, really simple. I was able to do it. I'm just still working with uh, with Jeff and Kylie on some on the, uh, improving that image, the, the main image, to making it a little bit better looking. So guys, thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe, and remember, don't cut yourself.